How did we get here? That's the question, right? Well, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. It's the world debut of Roller Coaster the Musical, and it's safe to say that everyone is super pumped. Who's having fun? <laughs> Original musical songs that are informed by real people, real stories from the community, all coalescing in this wonderful love letter to all of the different kinds of roller skating. We've got ramp skaters, we've got derby skaters, we've got community skaters, and we've just got anyone that loves to have the feeling of wheels beneath their feet. couple of years in the making this work. We were told a story by a couple of individuals that had a gateway into a big community of people and we hung out with that community which is what we do. You do that not coming from that community so you really don't know what to expect and it was just a really delightful surprise when we made that invitation and people so generously and warmly stepped into that space. We spent time running open songwriting workshops, we had panel discussions on mental health and gender and the value of movement in our lives. And in the course of that, it became clear that there was such a powerful story to tell. We gathered that community together with a bunch of musicians and actors, created something that was too big to do, and then we went through a process of editing that down into a show. I was really curious for everybody now to explore a work that really leaned into the lows as well as the highs, to put vulnerability and stories that are super tough on stage alongside these stories of, of human resilience and joy. Music is a very good way of landing a bomb of optimism. What the music is ultimately doing is trying to joyfully convey that we, we've got to love each other. That when human beings love each other and they work together and they make things together, very good things happen. What I love about everybody now is their deep desire to share real people in real ways. They're so consistent in their passion to showcase your average everyday human that's just going about not recognising how amazing they actually are and how amazing their story is. Because of the beautiful invitation to the community, all bodies, everybody, I could immediately come into the process and be meeting people in their authentic bodies and go, yes, let's. We're going to shine a light on how you move naturally on wheels and your skating prowess, wherever that is in your body. You are magnificent in your body just the way you are. It's all there. You can see it. It might happen mid-show for some people where they realise, I am amazing. <laughs> and that's so rewarding to cheerlead for. One of my favourite sorts of disruption that comes from this work is a whole lot of people meeting a whole lot of people who are not from within their circle and having deep experiences and conversations and being close to folks who they're not normally close to. We really need those sort of intergenerational, physical, joyful experiences and opportunities. You know, the chance for a six-year-old to be beside a 60-year-old and move their bodies with full joy and authenticity. You can see it on their faces as they're there taking it all in and just feeling immense gratitude to be part of something that's so much bigger than just themselves. There's a couple of key people that have stood out across this process, like Carla, the skater, she's an absolute weapon. We're seeing her get this moment and a whole character developed around her. A lot of the monologues that you hear in the song That Girl is stories about Carla. And then you have the incredible Moni Bones. Even though storylines might have evolved away from her original concept, her heartbeat is still so integral. And then you've got Trooper, who is the icon behind Rocky's song, I've Seen the Light. 
it's been really cool to see them brought in in the journey and the process as well. Energetically, there's a lot of things coming to a close tonight, turning tragedy into joy. I had just finished up playing roller derby for nine or ten years, uh, and during that period of time my house had burned down, and I had used roller derby and the skating community to rebuild my identity, to offer healing and just be a platform for rebirth. What's been challenging for me this week is that ultimately there is a root of trauma and that is a constant journey. Trauma and what you choose to do with that energy. We can make that choice. You can transform trauma into joy. Autographs later, sorry. <laughs> so I've always been a, if you died tomorrow, what would you have most wanted to have done today? For me with my journey that I'd had and brought up, uh, I didn't get an ending to that. I was unwell, went to hospital, and they basically diagnosed me as having terminal cancer. They couldn't find it, um, so I was left untreated, undiagnosed. The hardest part for me was when they said, oh, we're not sure if you'll live till Christmas, uh, let alone your birthday or your son's birthday. I got sad at first, I got mad and cursed at all the medical professionals that I believed. Then I remembered my long black crusader, my keep cock dream dad roller Lord Vader. To have your story made visible to your broader community, that gives that story validity, like my life matters and the stuff that I have been through matters. It's really imparted to me how important story is. To have other people hear your story is amazing. But then to have artists take your story and make it into an art, it's amazing. It's life-changing. It feels transformative. I just feel privileged is the word and honoured. My journey was quite traumatic within itself and now to turn around and have a look at what that's been turned into, yeah, it's something pretty amazing. It's quite cathartic actually, it's just sort of my, um, my resolution as well, I feel like I'm finally being heard. Everybody has a story and I, I wish everybody could have this experience. All of the roller skating humans that we have been fortunate enough to meet and collaborate with are such examples of leaning in to life. I don't feel as brave as they are. I really feel inspired looking, listening and feeling connected to these people's stories who, yeah, are fearless and brave. And to see them on stage under beautiful lights with this incredible music behind them, their people there is, yeah, it's just amazing. One of the most rewarding things about this project has been to show that it can be done. You can create work in this way that is ambitious, that's worthy of being on the national stage and has the community highlighted, our people, our place, our stories. This show has definitely made me feel like I'm capable of more than what I know I can do. Everybody is. If we were just reminded of that yeah. constantly, we will make the world the most amazing place if we have permission to be better than we are. I'm gonna say it on repeat, I'm gonna hold my ground. I it's given me like a drive to try new things. Skating has given me so much. It's given me good health, it's made me stronger, more confident in my body. A better relationship with my friends and family. When you're out skating, you're bonding. It feels so free and so connected. It can be highs, it can be lows, but it's something that really challenges you and it brings a lot of joy. It's the closest thing you can get to flying for me. I love it so much. <laughs> the 
biggest thing I've learnt is just to get back up. There's something about being ungrounded that means you have to find your balance. It offers a sense of belonging. That sense of freedom and release is there. Totally makes my heart happy. 